Okay, team, let's do this second uh, phoneme isolation question. I want you to take two minutes and I want you to read it to yourself. This is a little bit harder. This one's from the RIC exam from the 2021 RIC test. I want you to start two minutes, read it to yourself, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, pause me now, read it to yourself, and we'll continue, all right? Okay. Action, back. Now, team, this is uh, this is gonna be one where you look, it's a uh, phonemic awareness question. And uh, you can already tell by the heading it's involving phoneme isolation, but it's going to be a phonemic awareness question and potentially a assessment question. So it could fall under assessment questions or under phonemic awareness questions. And it's a informal assessment. So when we talk about an informal assessment, an informal assessment is assessment that's used to gather information to guide instruction. Usually, it's, it's conducted at the beginning of the year or at the beginning of a new unit to help the teacher. Uh, like right now, teachers that are doing these assessments for uh, students that are going to be coming into the school year, you're gathering information in the beginning of the year to guide your students or help plan instruction throughout, throughout the year, right? So that's their, this teacher is doing some type of informal assessment involving phonemic awareness, Okay. Or actually, no, what it says here, it says, which of the following informal assessments would be most appropriate to use to help an individual student's phonemic awareness? So we're looking for something that's going to test them on phonemic awareness and see if they have it. Now, remember, phonemic awareness, that's our friend. Our friend here uh, and our friend is uh, involving individual sounds. So we could just look for the scenario that involves individual phonemes, right? And we could cross out the ones that are not our friend, those activities uh, that do not involve individual phonemes. Yeah, we cross those ones out. So let's just see here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the uh, uh, I'm gonna go to D. Start at the bottom. Okay, it says here, have the students listen to the teacher read aloud a set of words. Okay, with the same beginning sound, train, trap, trouble. Now, now notice that this is listening to words and it's it's repeating words. Look at that. They use the word twice, right? And they're words with the same beginning sound. I don't know about you. I know that's a sound activity. But in terms of our sound activity, right? That sounds like it's a word level activity involving uh, alliteration, right? Train, trap, trouble. Nanny, nanny, nanny coat. That is a basic phonological awareness activity. So that's not phonemic awareness because phonemic awareness is the tippity top one. So that's word level. The next one's syllable, then onset and rhyme. And then there's the phoneme level. That's the one we're looking for. Okay, so this one's out. Too basic. Uh, what, about, uh, what about this one right here? It says, ask students to identify the letters in the alphabet that correspond to the initial consonants found uh, consonants, uh, sounds of several familiar spoken words. Oh, that's a good one. But, but here's the thing. You're asking them to identify the letters, okay, and, and that match up with sound. You're asking them to do some basic letter sound correspondence, right? Or maybe some basic alphabetical principle stuff. That's not what we're doing here because phonemic awareness can be just a pure sound thing. There's no letters involved. So guess what? I'm going to cross that one out. That's going to be a scenario for uh, for s some question involving alphabetical principle or early basic phonics. So we cross that out. Now, what is it, A or B? Let's just go with B. <laughs> Have the students listen to a tape recorded story while looking at the book and then answer several simple questions about the story. So first, they're, they're listening to a tape recorded story. A story is a uh, type of, is a narrative text. It's a, it's a text. Uh, what type of text? A narrative text with a story elements, right? And they're being asked to answer simple questions like maybe who or, or what or where or, or when. Now these are called literal comprehension questions. So this is definitely a literal comprehension question. It's a, it's a reading comprehension scenario involving narrative text 
involving uh, who, what, where, when, basic uh, literary question, lit, uh, literal comprehension questions. It's definitely not what we're doing. Cross it out. So team, you see how I went through this question and I, I crossed out the ones that are incorrect. Now, this is why you would do that because it's good to know, it's good to know these scenarios. None of them are wrong. I mean, they're not the right answer, but when I say they're not wrong, I mean, they're not right for this answer, but they're not wrong in the sense that these are scenarios that just go with other concepts. So you need to know this is a great scenario for basic word level phonological awareness. This one right here is a great scenario for basic literal comprehension for narrative text, right? Uh, so, so just be aware of that. Now, what's the answer? A, by default. <laughs> Ask the students to identify the sounds at the beginning, middle, and end of spoken word. Team, that is phoneme isolation. And if you saw that, which I hope you did, you're like, identify a sound at the beginning, middle, and end of a word. It's like bammy whammy. You had me at identify sound. That's what you should be like. You like open up the door and you read the question and you're like, identify a sound phonemic awareness. You hear me? Because that's all you need. Identify a sound, the sound. That's phonemic awareness. You hear me? And then of course you have beginning, middle and end of that spoken word. And then they give the example. Those are all reinforcing this activity. And what would be great is when you, when you see that activity, I would like you to be like, that activity has a name. It's not just a phonemic awareness activity. It's a phonemic awareness activity known as phoneme isolation. Okay? All right, team, this is a great problem. It is from this test here, and it uh, it's a great one to take a look at if you're a reading specialist or you're taking the Foundations of Reading test. And I'm just gonna highlight some of the vocabularies that we did, uh, phonemic awareness, phoneme isolation, we talked about uh, narrative text and reading comprehension. We did letter sound correspondence, and there was one involving alliteration. So just constantly reviewing that vocab and these concepts that are in the questions, okay? All right, great job. Uh, let's go to the next one.